What's up and welcome to the very first episode of Unbox with Madrox. My name is Jamie and on this episode we're going to talk about 1982's Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. Stop it! Stop it! By far the most infamous in the entire Halloween franchise as far as the movies go. It's lack of Michael Myers, a completely different storyline featuring an alcoholic doctor, the daughter of a storekeep, versus a sadistic novelty's owner, hell-bent on sacrificing all the world's children on All Hallows' Eve by way of Halloween masks with microchips in the neck, set to be activated by a commercial, mind you, set to London Bridges Falling Down. Who writes this shit? Whoever it was, thank you. I'm pretty sure it was... John Carpenter, Deborah Hill, and there was a couple other writers that stepped in. We'll talk about a little bit of that more when we unbox. But why we are here right now is to talk about this NECA Halloween 3 box set. The original concept of Halloween was supposed to be a themed series, like a Twilight Zone or a Tales from the Crypt, all centering on the fact of Halloween being the premise. The closest thing that we've probably even seen to this type of concept has got to be Trick or Treat, which is a great movie as well. NECA puts out a toy for that too, but that's not what we're talking about today. Today, it's about this, this guy right here. If it wasn't for that movie and wasn't for the following that it's obtained after 38 years, I think it's cool that people finally decided to embrace Halloween 3 for the true cinematic gem that it is and celebrate it with cool stuff like this right here. First of all, I want to check out the packaging. Uh, I, I can't, I, right off the bat, Silver Shamrock. I mean, come on. You got a nice, a nice slip case on the box featuring the iconic art from the movie. Let's, uh, we're going to go in here and slip the slip case. Here it is, coming out, bringing it out. Look at that. Look at that, we're gonna set this guy out to the side. It's pretty nice, it's durable. If you wanna uh, store this, you can easily flatten it down to uh, keep your corners sharp. Uh, if you're an inbox collector, because I know there's a lot of you out there. I happen to be an inbox and out of box collector, so this is one of the ones that we went in and we splurged and we got a case of them because uh, I needed two in my life. I absolutely need two. I absolutely needed two. We removed the dust cover book style let's get a look at the side of the graphics we got the uh the the classic pumpkin the skull and the witch both sides getting that full color graphics let's take a look at the back of the box now it shows all of them here and uh with the accessories as they're trick-or-treating some great uh production stills photographs of the actual product not necessarily movie stills but no these are the i love that i love when they do that i love when they take the actual product and sit down with the full photography shoot and, um, and, and really like pose the figures and, and, and set them up in some sort of a display fashion to show uh, the consumers this is the kind of um, posability and stuff. So kudos for that. Love the packaging, NECA. Good stuff there. So far we are on a roll. We got the, uh, oh, oh, people are just losing their mind right now because I didn't cut it. I should have cut it. I cut it. See, I damaged this. But that's okay, because we're opening this one. So that's okay. It's all right to have fun when opening your toys. Back in the days, everybody used to open everything, and now they don't open anything anymore. And it's a G-damn shame. If you started opening more stuff, stuff would go up in value. I'm just telling you, that's how it works. Don't argue with me. I didn't make it this way. I continue. Pulling out the inner tray. Ooh, right off the bat. Look at this. I love that in the background, we got that, we got that iconic scene from the movie. Looking pretty sweet back there, yeah. Like you could legitimately take the take the guys out of here, cut that, make some kind of a shadow box. I mean, I'm not gonna give you ideas, but I may have just given you ideas. Let's talk about it. Look at the guys here. We're gonna go in and get some tighter shots, but check them out, all three of them. We got a, a saline pack here and certain tennis shoes and, and other products. I've seen these, these, uh, these silicone jelly packets. They, they keep things dry to uh, prevent mold. So that's a good thing. Thank you again for that, NECA. Appreciate that. Okay, um, taking a look at these here. We're gonna open them up. Taking a little closer look here. We got the skeleton, looking pretty cool. Got an extra couple pair of hands in there. Got a, uh, a head portrait with, uh, with the uh, microchip activated, if you will. 
a nice cool head portrait as well of the witch with the microchip activated. Um, look at those hands. Yes. Got the shoes on, ready to get out there and trick or treat. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Oh, wow. The detail on these are really killer. And the jack-o'-lantern. I like how you can even see in the ring of his eyes, like, to imply that there's netting in there so the guy can see. I love it. Got some uh, some cool kicks on there, ready to hit the strip, get his uh, trick-or-treat on. Look at this here. The television set has a really cool kind of... Um, look at that. It, like, does this look. How cool. It does this cool tactic where it goes from the sh Silver Shamrock logo to the pumpkin logo. Gather round, children. Gather round for the big giveaway tonight. I love it. The attention to detail is in so much effect. Let's get a look at that. There's the uh, jack-o'-lantern head portrait. Swap out. You can put that on uh, to the microchip activated. He's getting the full snake treatment. And there's... Uh, there's the hat for him too. Wow. Let's open this thing up. Let's get a let's, let's get a real idea of how the posability is on these things. Um, how they're strapped in here. I thought it was with uh, like the old twisty ties method, but it's not. It's like these little plastic pieces that are just like kind of kind of like the stuff that you see that that tags are clipped onto um, t-shirts with. Right off the bat, cool posability. A lot of a lot of joint bending, a lot of POAs, a lot of points of articulation on these guys, man. These are really cool. We're gonna uh, take them all out here and see what we got going on, what we can't set up. All right, here goes the witch. I don't like how that, yeah, there we go. We're gonna put that, that ribbon to the back. I wasn't feeling how that ribbon was just always laying in the face like that. The witch has got some, yeah, which is all, they all seem to have the same body sculpt. Everybody seems to be nice, articulate. You can move their heads around. Total, total, really cool. We'll get in and show you that later. On the back of the mask, it even has a little silver shamrock logo. Good work, Mecca. You really, really, really outdid yourself on these. These are really badass. Okay, and of course, the jack o' lantern. And he has it too. They all have it. It's so cool. Let's see if we can't get that hat. How's the hat go on him? We're gonna have to try to figure that out. I'm gonna put those on there too. I'm not gonna worry about the hands. I wanna take out these, the uh, the the head portraits. When the microchip is activated and all of the uh, otherworldly insects, snakes, and bugs and creatures. I am really up in the resale on this pack. <laughs> Look at this TV, man. Look how cool that is. That is just, man, it just, it's, it's just cool. And it has like this cool little kind of, um, like, like you put a screw or a nail in the wall and you can put it on there and slide it on there to secure it to a place, which is kind of neat too, in case you wanted to do some kind of a wall display. I like how, um, uh, you can definitely tell that there's a lot of people that work at NECA that are collectors themselves because the attention to detail that they pay to some of this stuff is just killer. I, I mean, it. I'm just moving out these little taggy tag things here. But yeah, man, seriously, we're going to try to take off one of the heads of these right now and see if we can swap it out for the, uh, the little, the little microchip activated head here. I want to see how easy it is. Super easy. Came off super with ease. Look at that. And it's just a little ball joint right there. If you can see it. It's a little, uh, it's like a ball joint deal. Yep. And, uh, the heads have a, a little, a little well in there that you just snap on very easily. And you know, you can uh, get them to sit down and watch the TV. Gather round, children. You know, it's cool, man. I like it. I like how they got them. Super duper killer, man. I wanna know if they stand up on their own though. Let's see. There's the detail I was talking about. The Silver Shamrock logo on the back of the masks. Got the television set here. Look at this shit. How cool. Absolutely killer. Sculpt, posability's there, everything's there. I also wanted to make a minor note earlier. I thought that bag of silicone was in there to protect the figures. It was actually the trick-or-treat sacks that they're all supposed to have. And uh, there's the pumpkin hat on top of uh, the jack-o'-lantern right there. So, um, man, 
just again, just just kudos all around, man. Naka killing it. Okay, like I stated before, I thought these, I thought the silicone bag was to protect the the toys from dry rot or molding or some sorts, and I didn't realize it, but here inside are the trick-or-treat bags for these guys. How cool, right? Look at that. That's really badass right there. There's that one. And then uh, we got these guys who their parents just sent them out with that typical brown bag. They said paper or plastic. Parents said paper. Kids said trick or treat. Yeah, man. Super duper cool. Um, can't say enough good things about these. Uh, from the jack-o'-lantern, the skeleton, the witch, and the television set from Silver Shamrock. This has been Unboxed with Madrox. Check me out on my next episode where I'm going to unbox a 14-inch Mego Superheroes action figure. You're not going to want to miss this.